Alan Turing, the father of modern computing. Have you been sitting in class and found yourself wondering where all of this originated from? Like most modern technologies, it started as a simple idea. This idea has been expanded upon, naturally, but the fundamental basis for the modern computer was originated by Alan Matheson Turing. Turing was born June 23, 1912, in London, England. He enrolled into King's College in 1931, and was there until 1934. Upon graduation, he was elected as a fellow to King's College, after his dissertation in which he proved the central limit theorem. Turing would never publish his dissertation after learning it had already been proved a few years earlier. In 1936, Turing published a paper on computable numbers with an application to the Entscheidungs problem, in which he abstractly developed a machine that could compute numbers. This machine consisted of a head and an infinite length tape that is used by the head. The tape is comprised of squares in which a single symbol can be written to or read from. Turing also hypothesized that a universal machine could be used to run all developed Turing machines given the right input conditions. Sound familiar? It should. These principles are still used today. The tape is analogous to memory, and the symbols are analogous to the instructions. When World War II broke out in 1939, Turing left King's College for the Government Code and Cipher School at Bletchley Park, Buckinghamshire. He helped develop various machines to decrypt Nazi communications. He also helped develop the first electronic digital computer named Kolossu. Messages deciphered from Kolossu were used to coordinate the D-Day landings. Turing believed that the human brain was a form of universal Turing machine and that these machines could be trained using heuristic search methods. In 1947, Turing gave a lecture where he first introduced the idea of computer artificial intelligence. He would introduce many of the core principles in this field. In 1950, he developed his infamous Turing test. The test is performed by an investigator that tries to determine if he or she is talking with a human or machine by asking it questions. The Turing test is still used today. To date, no machine has ever passed the test. In the 1950s, in the United Kingdom, it was against the law to be a homosexual. Turing was charged of this crime after a police investigation into the burglary of his home. During the investigation, Turing revealed his relationship with another man. He was found guilty of this crime and was forced to either undergo chemical castration or be imprisoned. He chose the former. On June 7, 1954, Turing was found dead at his home. The post-mortem examination showed that Turing died due to cyanide poisoning. His death was ruled as a suicide. Turing is considered the father of modern computing based on his work on the Turing machine. His machine was the first to use a stored program concept in which the instructions for running the program are stored in the same area as the output of the program. Turing helped the Allied forces by developing and using machines to decipher encrypted Nazi communication messages to help combat and defeat the Nazis. Turing helped develop the first electronic program stored general purpose computer. Turing laid the foundation for modern artificial intelligence and even developed the test used to this day to determine if a machine is truly intelligent. Turing and the group at Bletchley can be considered the first group of hackers due to their work in decrypting the communication message sent by the Nazis. UAH Engineering. Thanks for watching.